Hi everybody, it is your AP Bio teacher, Mr. Poser. Today we are going to wrap up our fourth unit on cell communication and the cell cycle by discussing 4.7, which is the regulation of the cell cycle. Um, so in our last video, we talked about, well, the cell cycle. We broke down the parts of the cell cycle, including the parts of uh, mitosis, and we talked about why cell division is really important. Um, but another thing that's really important is that we have to regulate. It needs to be, you know, controlled. Um, how much a cell is going to divide and what phases of the cell cycle it's going to go through or if it should go through the cell cycle at all or should stay in the G0 phase. Um, so here's the thing. Timing the rate of cell division are crucial to normal growth, development, and maintenance of cells. Um, it's really, really important that a cell isn't just going through the cycle willy-nilly, just you know, moving on from one stage to the next. Why is that? Well, this can result in a lot of really not cool diseases um, that well result from unregulated cell division. And we're going to talk about that at the end of this video. And what makes this particular class of diseases uh, really difficult to try and combat as well. Um, so internal checkpoints, uh, controls, controls and checkpoints regulate progression through the cell cycle. All right, so a cell will receive a signal from either itself or from other cells um, telling it whether or not it can go from each checkpoint uh, from each point to the next, all right? Uh, so can it go from G1 to S? Can it go from G2 to M? That kind of thing, all right? Uh, so, whoops, I skipped a page here. Uh, the cell cycle control system is a cyclically operating set of molecules that triggers and coordinates key events in the cell cycle. All right, so the cell cycle control system is a, it's a set of proteins called cyclins and cyclin-dependent kinases that we're going to look at in just a second um, that really make sure that we don't move from one phase to the next, all right? So a checkpoint, we can kind of break this down into three checkpoints, checkpoints, those are quotes, um, within the cell cycle, which are, you know, points where stop and go ahead signals can regulate the cycle. All right, so there's three checkpoints here. G1 checkpoint, um, and again, this is just a series of, you know, proteins, and it's a transduction pathway um, that makes sure that, yeah, the cell, you know, is ready to go from G1 over to S where it can start, you know, copying its chromosomes, right? Because you remember, G1 is just normal, normal cell life, normal, <coughs> excuse me, uh, it's normal cell functioning and it needs, a, and it basically needs permission in order to move to um, S where it starts copying the chromosomes. All right, same thing with going from G2 to M, okay? G2 is, you know, making sure, the G2 checkpoint is making sure that everything's ready to go and we can start uh, the division of the nucleus and move into the mitotic phase. And the M phase is actually, I might be wrong here, but I believe it is checking to make sure that uh, the mitotic spindle has connected to the kinetic cores um, properly and to the centrosomes of, or excuse me, the centromeres of the chromosomes, and it's ready for an even split of those chromosomes so that each daughter cell gets an exact copy of the genome. Um, I believe that's what it is. But the point is that there's certain, uh, there's certain systems that are in place made by cyclins and cyclin-dependent kinases um, that produce the signal transduction pathways that give a cell a stop or go-ahead signal at these three points within the cell cycle. All right, so cyclins and cyclin-dependent kinases, if you remember from signal transduction, our uh, discussion about that, kinases are these proteins that are going to be activating other proteins uh, through the transfer of a phosphate group. So one kinase activates another kinase, another kinase, right? Um, so these are the kinds of proteins that will, you know, are involved in giving the stop and go-ahead signals um, at these three different checkpoints of the cell cycle, Okay. Um, so without these cyclins and cyclin-dependent kinases, or maybe there's some kind of issue uh, with these checkpoints and the cell is dividing unregulated, it's going through the cell cycle unregulated, well, it can lead to cancer, uh, which is a very well-known, very well-studied, There's even though there's lots more that we have to learn about it, um, class of diseases that are not a result of a virus, they're not a result of, well, they're not viruses, but, you know, viruses can trigger cancer. Um, they're not a result of like a bacterial infection and they're your own cells. They're your own cells that are unregulated and they're going through the cell cycle uncontrolled and they're continuously dividing. All right. So one cancer cell undergoes a process called transformation. There's a certain number of things that happen to it, but 
if we want to talk about just what cancer is in general, it's uncontrolled cell division. It's not able, it's going through the cell cycle, going through the mitotic phase without even getting checked for it. All right, so those checkpoints are not functioning. Cyclins and cyclin-dependent kinases, CDKs, are not properly functioning. Um, so these cells are just dividing like crazy. And when, you know, a bunch of these cells come together, it forms what's well, called a tumor. Okay. Um, so here's what happens to a, to a cell after it becomes a cancer cell. It goes, it's transformed into a cancer, cancer cell. Uh, a couple of things about it. Cancer cells do not require growth factors. Okay, growth factors are proteins. They actually send, serve as signals from other cells or from a cell to itself, on, you know, autocrine signaling, um, that stimulates a cell to divide. Okay, so when a cell receives a, what, okay, so when, when a receptor receives a ligand, a growth factor, it's going to cause a pathway that will end up with, with the cellular response being, you know, it's going to tell the cell to divide. It's going to tell the cell to undergo mitosis. Growth factors are not required by cancer cells. Cancer cells are just going to, you know, start dividing without getting that signal telling them to divide. They're just going to divide anyway. They don't need that. Um, so they're, that's uncontrolled cell growth right there. Um, here's another thing about cancer cells. They evade apoptosis. So if we go way back to one of our previous videos, we had a big cell with a bunch of pathways. One of the uh, responses that we talked about was apoptosis or programmed cell death. So sometimes when a cell receives a signal, Okay, the signal transduction produces a response that you know tells the cell to basically destroy itself, to blow itself up. Um, that's called apoptosis. Okay, so like a normal malfunctioning cell, or that's an oxymoron, but a malfunctioning cell uh, that's not cancerous, it'll receive a signal from another cell or maybe even itself to you know basically self-destruct um, so that it doesn't cause further damage to other cells. Uh, so sometimes that's an okay thing, you know, just like abort mission, just like forget about it, you know, have that cell destroy itself. Uh, cancer cells evade that, okay? So the signal transduction pathway that causes apoptosis, that produces that apoptosis response, something's wrong with it. It's not getting, it's not getting through to the cell and it's not going to destroy itself. All right, so the, your, your body's immune system or like some other, you know, your body's regulatory systems might send a signal to cancer cells that tell them to, you know, go undergo apoptosis, but it's ignored. It's ignored. This uh, cancer has developed some kind of ability to ignore that signal to, you know, destroy itself, to self-destruct, which is a really big deal. And another thing about cancer is that it can undergo metastasis or it can do, uh, it can metastasize. That's the, that's the proper verbiage for it. Um, and metastasizing is for spreading to distant locations from the original tumor. All right, so it's kind of almost like an endocrine uh, signaling, uh, except cells themselves, they're able to get into the bloodstream and spread to other parts of the body. Um, yeah, so that's really, really not cool. Um, so that's how, you know, uh, lung cancer can become brain cancer, testicular cancer can become liver cancer, something like that. Um, so it's really, really scary. Not, not cool at all. It's awful. Um, and this is, the, the, those three reasons that I talked about before are, are reasons why, you know, cells, like cancer is really, really difficult to treat. And there's been billions of dollars thrown at research for it um, because it's really, really tough. It's your own cells that are misbehaving. They're, they're uncontrolled dividing and they can go from spot to spot and cause wreaking havoc. Okay, so two more terms here uh, before we end the video because I believe this is it. Yes, it is. Oh, boy. For, uh, for this unit. Um, malignant tumors, these are the kinds of tumors, these patches of uncontrolled cells uh, that can spread to new tissues. Benign ones remain at the original site. All right, so this is why it's really important for this cell cycle to, to be regulated. So those cyclins and CDKs need to be uh, making sure that those cells undergo their checkpoints um, so that no mistakes occur within the cell cycle and it's regulated. All right, that is it for this video and for this unit. Uh, we'll see you in unit five. Let me know if you have any questions. Goodbye.